The Heston phenomenon are probably one of the greatest mysteries on planet Earth. That is why I, for almost 40 years, have been researching the phenomena. My name is Erling Strand, and this is the Blue Box Project Heston's research station, which we plan to upgrade. Dr. Jod Allen Hynek uh, was probably quite right when he said that Heston is really a UFO laboratory. It's a place where things are happening and where things can be studied. For every progress we make with the research in Heston, the phenomenon rewards us with more questions than answers. This means that we progress slowly towards new scientific results but are willing and prepared to expand our horizon to explore this phenomenon more curiously. What has fascinated me about the phenomenon is all the aspects in which this phenomenon chooses to show itself. Since the 1980s, the number of recorded observations has decreased to an estimate of uh, 20 per year. But in return, the peculiarities of how the phenomenon presents itself has increased. What can be observed as a diversity of lights at night might be observed during daytime as physical objects that resemble geometric figures or airplanes without wings and tails that suggest that we must strive for a greater understanding of our own world to unlock the mysteries of the Heston phenomenon. If we solve this riddle, we will not only have a greater understanding of our own world, but also a deeper knowledge of our own humanity. For me, it is as simple as this, to solve and understand more of the world's mysteries, you have to study the Heston phenomenon. And the beauty is that Heston is open to everyone in the world to visit, explore and experience. Hey, hey, check. Oh, 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 oh,